If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study about the slob rule. So whenever we are taking a dental radiograph, we are actually taking a two dimensional picture of a three dimensional object. So in that case, if we have to locate the exact location of something, let's say foreign bodies, impacted teeth, retained root, jaw fracture, we have to follow some methods for that. And one of them is the buckle object rule, also called as tube shift technique or Clark's rule. So this is one of the intraoral localization technique. And what is intraoral localization technique? It is a method which is used to locate the position of a tooth or an object in the jaws. So let us see what is this slob rule. So we have our model here and if you leave this model, it rotates on its own. So I'm just going to hold it here. So according to the buccal object rule, if we change the projection angle, then the relative position of the radiographic image will change. So what we do here, so if we are taking the radiograph from this angle, let's say like the way we are actually viewing it right now. So the two object will be superimposed and if we change the position, you can see they kind of seem to have changed their position as well. So in this method, we take two radiograph. So the first radiograph we'll take by using proper technique as we usually do. And in the second radiograph, we keep all the other parameters constant, but what we do, we change the direction of the central ray. So let us say the first radiograph was taken this way. So we can see that both the object, this blue one and that red one, they kind of superimposed. Now, if the tube head is shifted in the mesial direction, then the buccal object moves distally. So we can see here that this buccal object, it is moving distally. And that red object, it is moving mesially towards this midline. Okay. Now, if we move the tube head distal direction, then the buccal object will move mesially towards the midline and the lingual object will move distally. So when we take the second radiograph and in that radiograph, the object seems to have moved in the same direction as the direction of the PID. That means the object is lingually. That means it is said to be positioned lingually. When the tube head was moving mesially, this object was also moving mesially. And when the tube head was moving distally, this object is also moving distally. And this object is the lingual object. So the lingual object moves in the same direction as you are moving the PID. That is why we say same lingual opposite buckle. Now, if the object appears to have moved in a direction opposite to the shift of PID, then the object is said to be positioned buccally because when we were moving PID mesially, this was going distally. The buccal one was going distally. And if we were going like this, this was going mesily. So this is opposite buckle. Same lingual, opposite buckle. This is the slob rule. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to share. Also, I have a very good news to share with you all. Dr. Teeth is at fifth position amongst the top dental channels on the web. So thank you everyone for your support. I hope we continue our journey like this. We study more, learn more. And yes, don't forget to spread the word. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.